Welcome to this section on granting permissions without needing to create IAM users or groups. In this section, we will introduce IAM roles. We'll talk about how they can be used for granting other AWS accounts access to our account, giving applications that are running on EC2 instances permissions to interact with other AWS services, and granting AWS services permissions to create and manage other AWS resources. And finally, we'll discuss authenticating users with an LDAP directory or other identity provider and granting these federated users access to our AWS account. In the previous section, we talked about creating IAM users and groups and granting permissions using permissions policies. A third type of IAM entity is a role. In this video, we're going to explain what exactly a role is and what it can be used for. We're going to create a role, assign a permissions policy, give another user access to it with a trust policy, and then see it in action. Like an IAM user or group, an IAM role has a permissions policy attached to it that allows or denies certain actions on AWS services. However, it is not just for a single user. A role can be assumed by any entity mentioned in the trust policy. They assume the role whenever they temporarily need the privileges associated with the role. For example, an IAM user in your account maybe needs to launch an RDS instance, but they don't normally have that privilege, but they can assume the role that gives them that privilege so they can launch the instance. Another use case is when you hire an outside consultant and you want them to take a look at your AWS account. You don't need to create an IAM user. You can just create a role and specify their AWS account ID in the trust policy. This is known as cross account access. They can simply log into their management console and click on switch role under their name. This will present a pop-up for them to assume your role. Then their console will switch to your account and they will have whatever permissions you gave the role. In addition to assuming a role from the management console, you can assume a role at the command line. When a role is assumed, a set of temporary credentials are created. These are the same as the ones for IAM users, except that in addition to the access key ID and secret access key, there is also a session token. The session token must be provided along with the access key ID and secret access key when issuing a command. The session associated with the credentials has a limited lifetime, which by default is one hour. When the session times out, you need to assume the role again. Okay, let's go ahead and create a role, give it some permissions, and then give a different AWS account the permissions to assume this role and get access to some resources in my account. So let's begin by looking at what I have running in the North Virginia region here. I have a couple of EC2 instances uh, listed here. And what I want to do is I want to give my outside consultant uh, a chance to take a look at this. So I'm going to give him full permissions for EC2. So in order to do this, let's go under services, click on IAM, roles, and then create new role. Let's call it consultant role, click on next step. And for this, we want it to check on role for cross account access. Uh, I own the other AWS account, so I'm just going to select the first option. And now I need to put in the account number of the second AWS account. And then I'll click Next Step. And I'll choose to give them EC2 full access permissions. And then I click on Create Role. Okay, so now we have the consultant role created. Here is the ARN for the role. The name of the role is Consultant Role. The trust relationship says that this AWS account down here is trusted. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to send the consultant the account ID for this account and the name of the role. So we need to make a note of the account ID and the role name, and then we're going to send that to them. Okay, so let's go uh, test this. Let's log out of this account. Okay, I have signed in to the second account, which is going to be taking the role of our consultant. Let's go under the name and click on switch role. Here, the consultant needs to put in the account ID for the other account, the name of the role, which was consultant role. And for display name, we'll just put demo customer and then choose a color that will display in the console for this role. Okay, let's click on switch role. 
And now you see that my console has switched to the demo customer role. So that means I should be able to click on EC2 and see the EC2 instances for the other customer, which I can. When I'm finished, I can just go back to my regular account.